Hello everybody, in this video we're going to look at functions one more time, coding our first function inside of Replit. Alright, let's get going. If you remember from last time, we coded the sorting hat from Harry Potter. But the sorting hat doesn't just run for Harry Potter, it runs for Hermione, it runs for Malfoy. And so the question is, is there a smarter way to code this than just copying and pasting the code every time I want to run the sorting hat? And the answer there is, and that is that we're going to use functions which you just went over in your previous mini lab. So the errors are pointing to every time I'm running the sorting hat. And if you look at these two codes, you'll see the code on the right is simpler, easier to read. And if I make a mistake, it's easier to change because I only have to change it in one spot, which is where I define the function. You may remember the same concept from Corel. Here I have two codes, one where I've used custom blocks with my turn right custom block. The code on the right is simpler, easier to read, and easier to change if I need to make a change. All right, this part's the usual. The starter code is in the link in the description below. And because it's the same procedure, I'm going to play it fast without narration. Alright, so here the instructions say to create a function sorting hat. And if you remember, the formula I'm going to follow is def, function name, parentheses, and the colon. So that's what I've written here. Step two is to put my entire sorting hat code inside. And I'm actually not going to make the sorting hat function right now. I'm just going to make a placeholder print just to show how this works. And remember, I need an indent, and the code of my function goes after that. So now it says to call the function three times in the main part of my code. I'm going to write a kind of a filler line here about Harry Potter. And then I'll call the function right here, sorting hat parentheses. Then I'll write something about Hermione. It's not important exactly what I write. And I'll write another sorting hat. I'll call the function one more time. Remember, I call a function with the function name and the parentheses. If I don't call the function, the function doesn't run. Just like a recipe by itself is not enough to give me cookies, I need to use the recipe. So anyway, I run the code. Gryffindor shows up here. Right here shows the function running twice. And that's basically the idea of this lab. We really just want you to practice making a function and then calling that function. As far as what's left, here we've done just basically a very short stub code of a print. You need to have your entire sorting hat code go inside this function. You need to call the function three times instead of twice, and then you'll need to autograde it. And that's it. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.